Hi everybody! It's my day off, so I'm gonna be vlogging a lot today. Um, this first one, I wanted to do a response to Peach's video about marriage and why a lot of it's a load of crap. So, uh, Peach, first of all, hi. Um, really, I, I agree with absolutely everything you said. Flat out. Uh, but there's a couple of things that you didn't quite touch on that, you know, A, maybe you didn't realize to think about, maybe it was general agreement. Whatever, giving you my, uh, two cents. Um, somebody on your page was like, oh, hey, well, you know, it's like a public commitment, and, and it's, it's more difficult for people to, you know, cut and run when things get bad, when you make sort of a, a public, you know, you showed it to your friends and family and everybody that you're in love and everything like that. Why do you need to do that? Is, is my first, and I commented back on, on that, and it's like, why do you need, what, what insecurity are you holding in your relationship that you, you need to be like, see, see, we're getting married, see, see, now, now, like, he's with me, and, like, he can't get away, or she, or, you know, however, uh, whoever the, the one with the, you know, putting the pressure and, and forcing the thing, and I'm not saying that some couples don't just both want to get married and stuff like that, some people like the idea of it, and it's fine for people who do, but I think there are a lot of incidences where it's, like Peach said, it's a financial thing, or it's a family pressure thing, or it's, again, the wedding thing. The wedding thing is my biggest pet peeve. I think it's, it's utterly obnoxious, and it's, it's become something that I, as a female, am starting to be really offended by these depictions, all of these different shows, like the Bridezilla shows, and like the Whose Wedding Is This? Anyway, all of that crap that shows these women going utterly insane because they're, oh my god, I'm getting married and I'm the bride and I'm the most impo important thing in the universe, that to me is really offensive. That to me shows a really, it, it represents a, a kind of uh, woman that I don't want to be associated with, and I don't want to Again, I'm, I'm kind of offended by so many different depictions of that kind of woman. Um, you have the stupid Bride bride Wars movie with stupid Anne Hathaway and, and Goldie Hawn's daughter. Um, that That's so gross. That's so gross. <laughs> like, I can't, I, I don't know any other way to say it than it's just, it's really disgusting uh, when people are like that. And it's like, oh, ha ha, see, they're fighting over dresses and things. Aren't those girls crazy? And it's like, that's so ridiculous. That's such a ridiculous... <sighs> so anyway, um, a couple of, like, really kind of specific things. Apparently there's been a lot of weddings in and around my family lately, and it there are little things that I maybe wasn't quite aware of, you know, I've been to a couple of family weddings, but there there is a lot of wedding etiquette that I just, I guess, wasn't aware of. I was over um, my aunt's house, and so it was like me and my mother, my grandmother, my aunt, my cousins. Big group of women. Big bucket of estrogen kind of thing. And they were talking about having received a save the date for somebody's wedding. And I wasn't aware what a save the date was. Um, basically, for those of you who don't know, a save the date is a little card that you get in the mail that says, hey, we're getting married. Save the date. It's not an invitation, though. It is not the invitation to the wedding. It's just saying... Well, we're saving it. So I was kind of confused by this concept. I'm like, well, why not let the invitation be the save the date? And they were all like, well, the save the date comes before the invitation. And I'm kind of like, well, why? And they're like, well, so that you know that they're getting married and you notice it to save the date. And I'm like, well, but doesn't, isn't that what the invitation basically does? And they were like, no, it's different, because it comes before. And I was looking at them like they were crazy, and they were looking at me like I was crazy. 
And I, I couldn't understand why you would need to send a pre-invitation invitation. It was like a first notice. It, it was very strange to me. But the, the save the date that was sent was this big, glittery, like, fancy, cardstock, gorgeous thing that looked to me like an invitation. And I'm like, why? What is the point of this? And again, it was a big, fancy wedding. It was going to be like this big, palatial, uh, fucking, like, uh, not resort. What the hell's the word for those things? Like, dining hall kind of thing. People were flying in from all over, like, all over the country. And one of the things that gets me about things like that, spending a ridiculous amount of money on a wedding, is that you're two people that are trying to start a life together. It's presumably, you know, the whole getting married thing. Why are you spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on food and dresses and, and all of this bullshit why not put that money into a house oh you know or you know whatever it is that you want to get your life started with I mean it's it seems like such the ridiculous waste and and the whole money thing it's just like the, these and again it comes down to the women because I've never in my and if anybody has please tell me experienced a guy going this crazy over wedding well, a straight guy, you know, um, and, and that's sort of, that's one of the things I, I am in full support of gay marriage. I just don't, I don't know why you guys want to get in on this because it's really absurd, but you, everybody has the right to get in on such absurd shit. Um, but it, it does, it seems like such a waste. And the other thing was, Again, my grandmother had received some invitation to a wedding, and she didn't really want to go, and so my mother was like, oh, well, just, you know, send back that you're that you're not going and send them $100. I'm like, send them $100? Like, and I was kind of like, are you obligated to do that? Is that sort of when you are invited to a wedding and you can't go, do you still have to... Because that's the whole thing. It's, it's the gifts. It's spending hundreds of dollars on buying people wedding gifts. And not just wedding gifts, but like, you know, uh, the, the bride gets a bridal shower and she gets all the things that she needs and blah, 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 blah. Which I could sort of understand. Again, I think a lot of this is just terribly, terribly antiquated because of the fact that, like, I understand that back in the day, again, when people, two people were s starting a life together, um, they were usually both coming out of their parents' house for the first time and, and, and all of that kind of crap. So they didn't have their own appliances. They didn't have their their dishes and they didn't have all of those little things that you sort of need when you're first getting out on your own. But now most people own their own fucking blender if they wanted a blender. You know, people own those things already. People that most of the time now people are going into the the marriage with two sets of everything. So I think I don't know, it just seems it seems like a lot of bullshit and a lot of waste of money. Um, I'm almost up to 10 minutes at this point, and there's so much more that I want to say on this topic, but those are my thoughts for now. I'm going to post it as a response. I'll post Peach's video in, in my description and everything. Uh, and so there you go. So please uh, let me let me know what you guys think and junk. Um, I'm going to try to do a couple more videos today and see how everything goes.